Welcome back to four frame. I think we should actually we should probably go really full and door in engorge into what we do. Cause I feel like a lot of people don't get that like I think I think just from comments people think that we just record these one at a time. No I guess we, I think we've explained it a few times, but if you we? wanna go over it, we can go over it again. I just want to say is we record everything in like we have two recording sessions a week with seven episodes. So yeah. like, if, if the perfect example is uh, like God of like God of War, the, the episodes that went up last week, that was all in one session. But my mic disconnected, so I picked up my webcam mic, and it doesn't sound bad. It's just like a little echoey in parts. But it's uh, like someone like the second video of the week was just like. Hey, Josh's mic sounds a bit weird. I was like, yeah, it was unplugged. It'll be fixed next week. You know what I mean? I feel like if there's an ever going issue or like in the first, like on Sunday, if someone's like, no, no, you got this thing wrong. Well, we're going to continue to acknowledge it wrong for six more days because it's just how it works. Yeah. It, uh. It adds the idiot factor. Things. Yeah. That and we just don't have the time to really stop and check constantly to see if it's working right yeah also it's like my least favorite com and don't get me wrong if you do this you're not like i'm not calling you out or saying like it's a no like super annoying or anything it's just like um people like like warframe such a niche game that has such like a, a fan base that's really into it like it reminds me of like world of warcraft and like uh like mmo games where like the fan base is just so die hard so whenever like we say something that's incorrect, that could be someone must be like, "Hey man, that's, that's not how it works," story. and I get that. Please but in the, the sweetest way I can put it, uh, we don't care. Yeah, yeah, really, we don't. I'm, but hell, here, what I mean by that is just like, yeah, it's cool, we'll read it, but it's just like we're kind of in here just to have to get time for things. Yeah, it's not even. That's mostly it's not even, what what we're here for is just to have fun and play. <laughs> It's not even me that gets like hate comments. I don't. I don't think there's been like one since so like hate comment. It's only been Seth. I feel terrible. I mean, it is what it is, though. I don't know. It kind <laughs> of happens be, to like everyone who starts a YouTube channel, anyways. So. Hey, let's do this. You know, everyone, just start degrading my character right now. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I got a big nose. Uh, I got hair that I can't seem to style whatsoever. Uh, oh, looks pretty good every time. I'm I'm sh I'm I'm very short and I'm five nine and I'm skinny, you know. You can call me String Bean. Uh, my voice is too high. It can... Oh, that brings up a story. Did I ever tell you what my public speaking teacher once told me? Uh, no. I, wait, maybe. I don't remember. I, you saw. I've no right. I haven't told it on the show yet. But I took a public speaking class last semester and. Uh, it's public speaking class. You just do speeches and that's it. So like the very first speech, what you would do is you would do the speech and the very next day, my teacher would call us in one by one and he recorded him. So you would watch your speech back and he would give you like feedback. So like the first speech, he didn't critique the speech itself. He just like, um, like you didn't have to dress up. So I'm just like in like a flannel thing and like a t-shirt. So he's like, you maybe want to present yourself better. I'm like, okay, maybe if like he's looking for professionalism. But then he goes, you have a higher pitch voice for a man, so people can find that annoying. I'm like, what am I supposed to change about that? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like what? Like that's so like, I read somewhere that you're not supposed to make fun of something on someone that they can't change in 15 minutes. I mean, <laughs> that's very true though. Yeah, but when you say your voice is too high, it's like, dude, what do you want me to do? Want me to just, like, like speak in, like, brown notes? Like, I don't know what the guy wanted. He called, like, it was a windy, it was like a windy day, and you know I have long hair. So he's like, you maybe want to, like, put your hair back a little bit. I'm like, what? What is that? Like, what does that have to do with speech? What? Yeah, that has nothing to do with speech. Like, I don't like he had a, that. He had like a rubric in front of him. It's like articulation, uh, time, like stuff that mattered. I'm like, and he, but at the end he was like, oh, 90%. Good job. A. I'm like, what? We, we spent 10 minutes just ratting on like my appearance and character. And like the speech was like, oh, you know what? Just change this one part. And I would oh, switch it with this one. Overall, you're good. 
It's like, thanks. Wait, and can you take a fun guess how old do you think that teacher was? Um, 52. You're close, you're only out by 40 years. 20 something. No, <laughs> sad. Oh, wait, 90? Wait, I'm, I feel so stupid. Math is not my thing, man. Okay, I, you know I. I forgot yeah. the first number you said. By the time you said uh, the second number, <laughs> I, actually, forty years the other way, he'd be twelve. So yes, I had a twelve-year-old teacher. That's why he didn't know. But no, he was uh, a nine. Like we had a um. Yeah, he was ninety-two years old, dude. And uh, like he he couldn't really walk very well, and he was like he was hard. Like he couldn't hear you, and then at the same time he couldn't speak himself, which is kind of ironic. And my friend, oh my god, there was this girl who, uh, I don't want to call her friend, she was like, you know, class acquaintance. She said that a, uh, she's like, I know this might, she had really bad social anxiety. So she goes, I know this may sound terrible, but I really hope he passes away before the first speech. I'm like, oh my god. What the fuck? So, like, I get, like, everyone didn't like him, because, like, a guy, he's a guy that can't hear or really speak that well. But, uh, what happened was he just straight up was just like, all right, cool. So, like, everyone just, like, dismissed him because, like, he couldn't really teach. I felt bad for the poor guy. A new quest is available in your codex. The codex? No. Oh, we're back to Assassin's Creed 2. There you go. That's my life in... Uh, the picture doesn't look familiar. Maybe you can select the calmness. Yeah, well, how busy the lobby is because it has other players in it. Oh, I, I thought it was mainly. Oh, no, I haven't. Here we go. There's a whole cutscene for it. Yay, easy thumbnail then. <laughs> right? Well, thumbnails in Warframe are hell. You just got my FPS up in the top left, that's all. This looks straight up like Coruscant. I actually really like uh, Fortuna. It's a pretty cool place. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole song, by the way. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hair and water. You know what? Actually, not corpse on. This looks like a uh, Earth from Avatar. Yeah, they they're pretty cool. <laughs> Is this like a mining town? Um, we'll find Which... out. Is that child labor? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Can we free the children? Kinda. Oh no. Yeah, we free them with the sweet release of death. <laughs> we do help some people. Oh yeah, have you ever played uh, Fable 3 at all? Um, no. There's an, I've never played any there's, of the Fables. Well, there's just an option where like you free like a town from child labor. But you get the choice of like, do you want to free the children, which is the good option, or just uh... use them for your game? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Before anyone likes to spread rumors, oh god, that title scene was dope. Is that the stock the stock market? I don't actually know. Debt right. internment quality. By the Repossession. way. Do you, do you know what that is? I can explain that for you if you'd like. Please, I have no so, clue what that is. The people working and everyone here either works for that guy on the screen or has like Mr. debt to that guy or someone here. If you are willing to work for your if, Oh, 
Yeah. God, does, he, does he have a beard made out of like technology? Okay, so if you see, he's got fleshy bits here, yeah. robot bits there. Cyborg. Yeah. So some people have traded parts of their body for debts. Like, because they owe people, they will take their arms or legs. Oh, or wow. Head. And uh, then they have to go into debt with someone else to get a robotic version. Uh, this place blows. So it's a debt slave camp. Oh, God. What Basically. a bummer. It, That's what internment means. I don't know. It's just the lighting. It was kind of a bummer because this place is cool. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. So this is Utico. What's up, Utico? Hey, busy. Oh, an outworlder. A tello. Look, That's we're us. a corpus operation we are, but these people are Solaris. We work <laughs> you are assigned to work at we the McDonald's. Trouble, and we don't need no one. <laughs> your debts will be paid. In terms of your health, not in wages. He's been staring down the barrel of a repo order ever since he took on his parents. He's a kid who took on ugly thing repossession. Well, here, I'll let I'll let her explain this part. Dead, Neff sends in his repo squads to take what he says is owed. You know, mechanical body parts, even a full rig. In Thursby's case, because he got none of that, they take the organics, arms and legs. Yeah, wow. There's a market for those too. Yeah. So, there's that. If you need scrap and a snap, just talk to your junkyard dip. Hey, Thursby. That'd be me. Thursby, Thunderstruck, Sean on Pluck, down in his luck. Nah, whatever. Tell me what <laughs> That's like the weirdest <laughs> Dr. Seuss kind of rhyme. It's basically this kid, his parents fell too far behind on debt, so they took his parents completely. Like, all of them. And killed them, oh. basically. Aww. And then Sorry, Thursby. he now owes their debt as well as his own. Oh, it's like real life. Yeah. Well, worse. A lot worse. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> also, Thursby sounds like you're saying Thursday with a speech impediment. But, if you really wanted to help, you could source me some supplies. Some I can sell, not this garbage. I know where the tax man keeps the good stuff. If you're up for that sort of thing, boss. Yeah, it's crystal myth. So he said to be a human, but he just traded everything to get like a robotic head and chest. Past. I inherited their he death. says that in a nice way. Deep. Can't work huh. to pay it off, because I ain't got no augmentations. I can't buy augmentations on account of all my debt. Vicious cycle, right? So, here I am, selling useless scrap. So if I'm getting this correct, this, like, 100%, like, the guy that run what's the guy, what's the name of the guy that runs this place, like, the evil dictator? I don't remember, actually. Okay, but he's, like, a, um, like, there's no fa- like, he said vicious cycle, like, no matter what, if you're here, your just life sucks the moment you go into debt. There's rarely, like, a case out of it. They do have a resistance going, apparently. Rebel, rebel. The girl who told us to come o come see him is the one running it all. The uh, resistance. Awesome. Neff. Neff is the guy who is over them all. Big beard man. Big beard man. I had mom hips in the first place. Oh my god, now we got dad beard. What happened to them was never her fault. Uh, Thursby, you've been through it. I would just. Well. So Take has Utico. Something happened on deck 12. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I think we learned. If I say, don't tell me because people will get angry. Well, <laughs> oh. obviously a bunch of people died. <laughs> well, I figure. Yeah, I highly doubt it's going to be like a cold day. Like, everyone got surprised. It was like cupcakes. There was like a party on deck 12. I don't think anything's going to I think it had to do with the uh, resistance failing. 
So oh god. Of so many thousands of Next time on Warframe, we're in Fort Fortana. Thursby is now my new favorite character. Thursby's pretty great. I sounded weird, but you know what I mean. He's adorable. Bye-bye.